Welcome to current Drive Tribe HQ. Our office is tiny. We need something bigger, which is what this video is all about. Ash is editing. Turner should be editing, but he's filming this video. George is editing. Tom is skiving. He should be doing something with video. Don't know where he is. It's a very, very small space. This is supposed to be an editing suite, but we've got Liqui Molly products. We've got an exhaust for an alpha. We've got evil wheels. We've not got enough space, let's head through here. There's only eight people in this building. There's only one toilet. Not great after a massive curry. Tiny kitchen. Look, this is the standards we're operating at. It's not even a proper M&S Caterpillar cake. It's a Tesco Slinky. It's not Colin. Can you believe that, Turner? It's shocking, it's shocking. Colin the Caterpillar is unbeatable. We've got a sound booth crammed into our kitchen. Again, who wants to hear me doing voiceover while they're making their lunch? No one. Let's come in here. Tiny Hoover. Even the Hoover's tiny. Who's in here? Alex. Eve. The boss man, head of operations, Nick, should be here, but he hates this place of work so much he's f***ed off to Disneyland. We need a new office. It needs to be bigger. Let's go check out some places. Our first spot isn't an office, but we'll tackle our storage issues, as well as becoming a workshop for our projects. You'll see what I mean. The hunt begins. There is apparently a lockup just down the road from the office that we're currently in. It's on a farm, which is where you always find the best lockup. So we're heading there now in the TRX to check it out. Hey. So, it's in this corner over here. Now, some guys from the team have already been down test fitting, so there is a drive drive vehicle already in here. Swinger open. <laughs> Welcome to what could be the brand new drive drive lockup, our first lockup ever. The MG sitting here. That suspension is slightly canted, isn't it? So, imagine in here, one big proper ramp this side and then maybe something smaller this side. So we can have two cars on the go so that when one catastrophically fails or we can't get a bolt out, we can just switch over to the other. There's a few puddles. I guess at the end of the day, it's just a barn. We can maybe look at that. So yeah, nothing enormous, but a good starting point to maybe build and form a proper drive tribe workshop. What cars would you like to see getting worked on in here? The really cool thing about having our own lockup is we don't have to find specialist after specialist to work on all of our cars. We're constantly going to places like Bedford, Northampton, Kent, Sussex, all these different places around the UK. It's never Bath Bristol. So if we have our own space here and we get our own mechanic in, we can all do it in house, do it quicker, do it easier, more content for you guys. So that's the plan buying this. This is location number one. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Not only do we want space to work on cars, we also need space to store cars. Again, something we've never had. So there's probably space in there for four cars in total, but also what's cool about this site, is we've also got some outdoor space. It is just pebbled, it's not tarmac, but I reckon against the wall of this barn, you could have five, six cars, and then maybe another couple dotted around. It's quite puddly, but that's something that could be dug up and sorted. This is our first little toe dipped into the pond of utility spaces, proper workshops. What do you think? Comment down below. Let's head to location number two. Hey. Another day, another location. Welcome to option number two. So option number one was just a workshop and then we have our office nearby. This one would combine the two. So this would be our workshop space, probably ramp one, ramp two. Whole load of space for parts and wheels and all the stuff we'd possibly need, all the stuff from our sponsors. But then it's got quite a sizable mezzanine. Let's hop upstairs and have a look at that. Something that instantly hits you when you come in here is the smell of garlic. We've been told there's a food processing place just next door 
and it is powerful. So upstairs we've got this main office. So this would be where most of the editing of our videos would get done. We've got around eight people in our current office, eight to 10. So most of them would be in here, all split up. So we'd probably get rid of that worktop thing. Get some car art on the walls. And then through here, we've got a couple of boss offices. He's one of them. I might be the other. I'm not sure if I can mangle that. So, important person, Office number one, to be fair, this could probably fit two or three people in it. Coat hangers, good. And then through here, this is the real boss's office because it's got a window down to the workshop. So you'd be able to see how badly we are mucking up the car down below. Um, so yes, this is a much more flexible space than where we were before. That was very much just workshop, one, maybe two ramps. Well, this one suddenly expands out and it's not too much more expensive. There's one more thing, which is really good. Got some space up there. That's not the best thing I'm talking about, but some space up there for excess wheels, tires, car parts, all that kind of stuff. I think the main theme with this place is much more space. You can always do with more space. So we're not gonna show it because we haven't asked if we're allowed to film them, but just outside the door here is another workshop, which is an MOT center. That will be a huge lifeline to us. Mucking about cars here, get out for an MOT, and if there's any issue, we literally roll it 20 yards back in here and sort it out. Also, they will have part suppliers as well that come in every single day, probably two or three times a day, so they could then supply us. So that's really handy that they're on site too. But comment down below, what do you think of option number two? There is an option number three coming up in a couple of days, but I like this, a good upgrade. Okay, so option three. Uh, Mike decided to go on another shoot today, so uh, you know, stuck with me. Um, but yeah, a little bit of downstairs space here, um, and then this would be the main unit area. Obviously, all of this is to be cleared out. Now, this one is basically this is half of it. Um, there's a second half as well that's available, which we could have prepared together. So this is a bit of office space here. And then we've got this full mezzanine structure up here, which again, we could turn out into uh, office space. Now with this one, again, we've got this upstairs space, but we've also already got some office structure. Again, room for probably a couple of ramps uh, if we wanted uh, a second workshop here as well. Um, and then yeah, just another downstairs area with more toilets and a little kind of reception area down here. Yeah, so that's option number three. Uh, hopefully back over to Mike. This is the final location we're looking at and we're upping the game. We started small, we went medium, and now this is big time. So just like the last one, you've got all of this floor space and we've got offices upstairs that we'll look at in a bit. As you can see, the theme is checking out warehouses and turning these into mechanical garages, filming space, plus offices. So you could quite easily imagine at least two ramps here, maybe two and a half if that's a thing. There's so much space in this one. It seems much more airy and compared to the last one, it doesn't stink. Welcome upstairs. This could be where all the proper business happens. Let's have a look in here first. The one theme you'll see in here is doors, wooden doors. So this would be one office, that would probably be Nick, our head of operations. He would quite like this one. He's got a window so he can check everyone out. He'd have a nice desk, probably some nice pictures on the wall. There's some weird stains going about. I think it's fair to say carpets would be gone. It'd be nice, freshly painted. The Drive Tribe color scheme is black and white. Wouldn't recommend we go down that front. 
maybe came in blue, Rover 620 Ti, am I right? It's, it's a bit of a maze this, you know you're having like a, a bit of a nightmare and you want to escape and you go running for doors and then that just opens into more doors and more rooms. This is it. I think it's very sort of mid 80s, 90s decor. It's got room through here, decent size, that could be you guys, that could be editors in there. This is just some like random hallway and then you come into even more randomness. Would we lock some of the doors so they become proper rooms? I don't know. It's all quite stressful. Do this one. Social distancing. Two meters. Keep your distance please. There's another one in here. We've had, there's a bit of roof trouble in this one. Um, I wouldn't mind having this one. It's the furthest away from Nick, head of operations through there. So I would quite like this. It's nice and isolated. I've got a lovely view of, it looks like a, a coach, a bus that is being completely dismantled and scrapped. People will genuinely get lost in here. What's this one? Oh, it's cold. Oh, this light work. Whoa, this is the walkway. It seems to have been completely blanked off. Shall we walk across that? Are you, are you trusting this walkway? Yeah, why not? Yeah, she seems strong enough, but that has been just completely plastered. There's no door. We can knock through that. So, which option should we go for? Option one, two, or three? Or four. Small, medium, but garlicky, or four. This one here. Maybe it's obvious. Comment down below. I'm gonna have another look at the walkway. 